I, you said you follow a little bit of the scene. I thought maybe I could sh uh, share some new additions to the game. Maybe you think they're cool or maybe just a reaction. I, I don't know. Um, Burgundians are a civilization that's been added. I heard they just added Burgundians. I thought that was pretty funny. Right. And they have a... Burgundians were, you know, but... Yeah, it was, it's, a, it's a weird one. They have a unique cavalry unit that has a charge-up attack with a cooldown. What? Yeah, they have a. This is the, this is a first for Age of Empires. They have a charge up attack yeah. that does a lot of damage, and then it you have like a I don't know a minute cooldown, and it does a significantly less damage during cooldown. But it's meant to be like a raid unit. Okay, you go in for one attack, and then they're done. Right, and then you can back okay. out, and you come back in, you back out. Uh, they also have a unique. Yep, they also have a unique tech called the Flemish Revolution, which upgrades all the villagers to Flemish militia. It's a one time effect. So does that mean you don't? Oh, but you then you have to train new villagers. Correct. So it's it's kind of an all in to a certain extent, unless you have like five town centers and you can reproduce an economy right away. But the Flemish militia are pretty strong. They're like I don't know. So it would be a great thing to do when you're trying to take down that wonder. And of course, there's another example of something we built wonders, we used wonders, we played with wonders, and in almost every online game, they're turned off. <laughs> yeah, no one plays with wonders. Yeah, we put a lot of effort into those wonders, and we had some really fun games where the wonders going down to the last second. And, uh, those are uh, great missions. Yeah, I love those missions where you have to protect the uh, certain ability. They have a lot of that in StarCraft as well. Um, Kumans. Every, every game of age could have had that because the wonder is a thing. Yeah, it, it really depends on the... Okay, I had another one. So Cumans, um can build another town center in the feudal age. Cumans? Cumans, yep. What were the, what, how was it spelled? Uh, C-U-M-A-N-S. Cumans. I don't even know who those are. Are they some kind of central thing? Yeah, your historical uh, understanding is much stronger than mine, so I'm just I'm just giving you the cool, unique text more so than the... I'm hoping you know more historically what they are. The humans are, are obscure to me, so... Uh, okay, fair. All those Central Asian nations, they didn't really have... They weren't literate. So there was a bunch of them that didn't leave much of it. The only way they left um, evidence of themselves is if they invaded civilized countries like the Mongols or the Huns. Otherwise, like you'd never hear about them. You yeah, know? They, they're lost in, in, in history. Lost. Uh, the Khmer uh, don't require mills to drop off food. Villagers can garrison yeah, in I houses. Would guess, I would guess that the Khmer's would be a naval sieve. Uh, you know, let me see. AOE2 tech tree. Because historically they had they had a they had a, a a powerful navy and elephants, which is cool. Yep. See, okay, so siege and elephant civilization. So they're not a navy sim. Uh, Weird. It doesn't look like it. They did lots of. Uh, yeah, there was. The, lots, there's famous naval battles between the the Khmers and the um the the, the Siamese. Yeah. No, that doesn't look. Maybe they have okay water, but it doesn't look like they have any bonuses for water. Uh, okay. Well, whatever. Uh, I would get if I designed them. They'd have they'd have a bonus in the water. There. They should they should bring you back to do some historical modifications <laughs> to, uh, to these. Yeah, it's so much to do it. It wouldn't be worth it for them. <laughs> uh, Lithuanians get a plus one attack for knights for each relic they have. Maximum of four. Lithuanians. Yeah, Lithuanians. They are a cavalry and monk civilization. I know who the Lithuanians are. I'm just amazed that they made them into a sieve. They're kind of screaming at the bottom of the barrel. I mean, <laughs> Lithuania used to be bigger bigger than Moscow, but still. Uh, so they have, they have a, a ta attack bonus. So what they they change their attack towards armor. They get plus one attack for every relic uh, their knights do and lightest. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Yeah, so bonus for, uh, for relics. These are all, uh, to me. I just picked the ones that I thought were the most unique and kind of maybe you know maybe you had something yeah, similar like in that, mind. If you want to get the relics, kind of forces you to get monks. Yeah, it changes their play I style. Felt, I felt that we'd screwed up in Age of Empires too because everyone was so scared of monks in Age One that we nerfed them too much. And my attempt to unnerf them was to give them a million different techs. But that didn't work because nobody wanted to buy a million different techs. Yeah, it seems like a lot of investment unless you're really handy or really crafty with monks or you know you know we your way around. To, we tried to make the Aztec monks good. We tried to make the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the Spanish monks good. But ultimately, we needed to completely redo the monks and have, because the age one monks were fun. 
which is which is why all of the monk um memes and stuff are all age one, never age two. <laughs> but all the, everything else is age two, but age one is the monks. I didn't know they that. Are. Uh, I had another. Okay, so Portuguese. So Portuguese have a unique building in the Imperial Age that costs 20 population, but it generates resources constantly. Wait, wait, it costs population? It costs population. It basically replaces villagers, but uh, it's a really strong building, which makes it like... It, the advantage of it is you can't get raided, you can't lose villagers, but it doesn't produce as well as uh, villagers. But then it also in the late game, it gives you gold, stone, resources that you know you can't really get anywhere else in 1v1. Um, the newest expansion, Sicilians. Age two, right? This is all Age of Empires two, yeah. Because yeah, Age three, we kind of were able to go further and make more crazy things, like the Turks automatically making villagers. You know, right? The, the Aztecs not having any cavalry or gunpowder, just all infantry civ and right. invisible. Units. We, I mean, that was that was kind of Age three was where we did the crazy stuff. 